Hello. Let's talk business. Big sip of that business owner juice. Hello, I'm Raven, one part of Cat and Raven Designs, which is a queer owned and friendly business making soap, lip balms, bath bombs, and generally chaos. This video will be broken up into chapters, linked down in the description below, so you can jump around to whatever sections are gonna be most relevant to you. This video is also not sponsored. I will be talking about specific brands that we use, and I'll link those down in the description as well if that's something that you're interested in. If you're a subscriber for our usual content of soap making and hanging out and having a good time, sorry, it's just gonna be me today talking about the business side of what we do, so feel free to go ahead and skip it. Otherwise, chapters are down below. Let's get going. In this section, we're gonna be talking about packaging for the individual bars. So I have a loaf here of about 15 bars, plus a sample and two little extra bits of pour from extra batter. And you can see they look really nice here. They are a little ashy on the top here. So let's go over the tools of the trade for this. We've got a steamer, and this is gonna take care of the ash on the top, an impulse sealer, a heat gun, and some eco-friendly polyolefin heat shrink wrap bags. Now we do tend to eventually move off of the individual bags onto a whole wrapping system, but that's quite an investment. We're not there yet. If you want to see a cool video showing how to use that, uh, Kenny over at Royal Appleberry has a video talking about it. So first things first, let's go ahead and steam treat these bars so that way they have the chance to dry. Now that the bars are dry, we're going to go ahead and get them all popped into their individual little bags here. Now we currently buy these from Amazon. Again, we would love to switch soon to the National Shrink Wrap system. So we would use rolls instead of bags, but we are not quite there yet. Go ahead and put all of these in their little bag here. Pretty straightforward there, just like that. So now that all of the bars are in their bags, it's time to go ahead and get them all sealed up with the impulse sealer. So this is an eight inch impulse sealer. We got it from Amazon. A quick note on the impulse sealer is there is a little thin wire metal piece inside here that sometimes does snap and that'll make it so that your impulse sealer does not heat up. I really, really recommend buying the extra refills on that when you pick one of these up. So if something does happen, you already have the part. For the polyolefin bags, I have the heat setting to about a four. So we just stick this in here, push it down, way it comes. Just keep going for all of these. I like to do them in stacks of five. Anything more than that, and I find that sometimes when you go to shrink wrap them, they will fall over. So now that they are all stacked up, let's go ahead and give them a shrink. So this is just a standard heat gun. This is one that we got from the hardware store. You can use really any heat gun. There's some on Amazon. There's some at your local hardware stores usually around $30 and up. This one we got because it's digital, it's fancy. So, and I always do them in stacks of five here and I like to start at the top. You just wanna constantly be keeping the heat gun moving. You don't wanna hold it in one space too long or it will cause a hole in the bag. Turn it around, get the sides, bottoms, and other side. There we go, then I can grab each individual bar, finalize it. If there's a part of the bag that's sticking out a little bit from the seal, I'll just push it down either with my finger or with the table. If it's on the side like that. Here's a close-up angle. Now that the bars are all shrink wrapped, trunk wrapped, one of the two, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put a label on. These don't technically have a name yet, so this is just one of our old labels. I make these in InDesign. I have a standard base that I use, and then I add extra things like the background and change the name, and this will go on the side. So cute little extras to go on there. It has all the ingredients, our website, our logo, our name, and the weight of the bar. 
So I do make these in InDesign, but there are lots of free programs you can use out there too that work just as well. And then I print these out on 32 pound paper, recycled paper, and we cut them ourselves with a little cutter. And what we use to seal them on is a roll on tape dispenser. So these little guys are really cheap on Amazon and the refills are stupid cheap. What I really recommend is if you pick up something like this, get a boatload of the refills because you go through them faster than you'd expect. And it sucks when you're halfway through packaging an entire launch and you run out of the little tape refill. So I most recently bought like 30 of them. So I have, I think, three of the dispensers and I think 30 of the refills at the moment. Uh, so that way, if we have people helping us out with packaging, everybody can be doing this at once. First thing I do is just pop it open, a little button here. I flip the label over onto its back and I put a little bit of tape at the top and a little bit of tape at the bottom. Hard to see, but it comes in these little strippies. There, you can kind of see it there like that. I line up the label with the edge of the soap and fold this part over first like that. Second part comes over here like that. And there you go. Easy. Now we also had some questions for alternatives to using plastic for your packaging. So again, we use polyolefin because it's more eco-friendly, but there are some really good alternatives out there. So recently we packaged a number of our soaps in craft paper. So this is just a rectangle of craft paper that has been folded around the soap in order to package it. And we just put a sticker on the back. So that's one good alternative. And just recently I bought this really beautiful bar here from Kenny over at Royal Appleberry. And it comes in this really cute little soap box. I'll have to check in with her where she picks hers up. Uh, but I have seen similar boxes over on Paper Mart and a few other sources. So I want to look around and see if you find one that you like there. Next up is the first part of shipping, which is boxing everything up. We recently made the complete switch over for our boxes over to Eco Enclose. Uh, we used to buy them from uh, various suppliers on eBay, but now we go completely Eco Enclose so that they are made of recycled material and they're really good for reuse. Editing Raven with a quick note here for something I should have mentioned as we're about to go into the size of boxes. We make our soaps using the Brambleberry five pound molds and our own DIY slab molds. Those are sized very similar to the Amazon purple molds if you're looking for something like that. Obviously the size of bars you make is going to change how many bars you can fit in a certain size box. And these size boxes may not work for the bars that you make. So just make sure to keep that in mind. Also frosted soaps clearly take up more space than a low top. So just little details to keep in mind. Let's go on back. So we buy them in a variety of sizes. So first up is our small boy, which is five by four by two, generally holds about one or two soaps. Next up is the medium boy, six by five by three, holds up to about five soaps. Then we have our long boy, which is nine by five by three. This one is the biggest that we can fit inside of a flat rate bubble envelope. We'll go over that a little bit more in the next section. The last size we typically use is the big ass boy, and that is a six by six by six. Uh, this one does not come from Eco Enclose yet. We're still using up the last of these before we switch completely to Eco Enclose, but they do offer them. On really large orders, we do also use USPS flat rate boxes and we'll go over some of that in terms of rates in the next section. So on every box we put one of our logo stickers. We get these made at Sticker App and we also have a custom stamp and we stamp every single box. Now the thing with Ego and Close boxes that we've noticed is that there's this more smooth side and a more corrugated side. So this is the inside and that smoother side is the outside. So when you're folding it together the folds are made to come into this corrugated side. So I'll show you how the box comes together. First, you fold in all these smaller flaps, and then I fold like that. I fold this, and move the sticker up a little bit. There we go. So I fold like that, and then I also fold back that way and fold this flap in. So this is just all your pre-folding. And you fold these two tabs inside, fold them together like that. Fold that flap down. Now you've got one side, same thing on the other side. There we go, they've got little tabs down at the bottom that holds these sides in. 
and now you have a box. If you've been on our channel for a while, you know that every launch we do a packaging stream. So a lot of this is gonna be familiar to anybody that has been around for that. But let me show you how we put together a package. So if say we had a one bar order, it would go here in the small boy. We have tissue paper that's been cut down to the right size already. We get our tissue paper from Paper Mart. It's been a really good resource for shipping supplies for us. Tissue paper is really inexpensive. They have a lot of really good designs. We only have to place an order for the tissue paper every few months. So we'll go ahead and we'll put a bar in here. I like to put them upside down like that because I want that flat edge to be back up against the back of the box. And then I'm gonna put crinkle paper all around to protect it. Crinkle paper is messy, but really useful for packaging. So I can just shove all this crinkle paper around the bar to give it padding and protection for shipping. Yeah. Our crinkle paper also comes from Paper Mart. We recently found out that the brand that Staples uses, Springfill, um, is also available on Paper Mart for half the price. <laughs> so we buy it in 10 pound boxes. It takes a good while to go through it. So once we've got the crinkle paper in there, then we go ahead and fold up the tissue paper. Now that we have the tissue paper in there, we have a little holographic heart sticker we'll use to seal the tissue paper down. Next, we put in a little card. This comes from our shipping supplier, Eco and Close. You can order them for free when you place an order with them. Just goes over about the eco-friendly packaging that we're using. Instead of business cards, lately we've just been doing these little cards going over the ingredients, how to take care of your soap, a reminder to post about it when you get it. I got these printed at Vistaprint, but I am likely going to be switching to a new supplier for these soon. They're really cheap because they're just a little one side print. We feel like it's really important every package that goes out that it gets this nice special care so that when somebody opens the box, it feels like an experience. It feels like something fun and like a person cared a lot about sending this to you and making sure that it's done really nicely. On that note, we also always write the person's name on the inside of the box. So just put that in Sharpie. Uh, a little happy face, because it's cute. That way when the person opens the box, it feels really special and nice. Everybody likes to see their name. It's a nice little touch. The last thing that would go in here is their order sheet. So I don't have an order sheet right now, but I'll go ahead and just fold it up as if I do. It goes right on the top like that. And then close it up. Now time for tape. So again, we're using Eco and Close really heavily. This is their water activated shipping tape. And this is a dispenser. Uh, Eco and Close at the moment does not sell a dispenser like this. We got this from Amazon. I think it was about $30, $35. I'll, I'll make sure everything I talk about here in this video is gonna be down in the description. So the way this works is it has this little rolly pad here with a reservoir for water. So you go ahead and you put water in here and you wind the tape up through these little rollers, pull it through here like this, and this wets the tape. So back here, not sticky at all. It's completely dry. But over here where it's coming out, where it's touched the water, it's very, very sticky. Gets all over your hands. So we're gonna pull off an amount of tape and you can see the stickiness there. We'll put that on the box. I like to make where I can the tape a little bit whiter than the box. This is something, a technique that we took from DHL. So you fold those excess edges over on the sides, fold those down like that, and then this comes in like this. And that gives you this really nice seal and it just takes a second for the tape to dry but when it does dry it is stuck on there good so that is how we package up a box and in this section we're going to be talking about the actual shipping process so just as a heads up in terms of the details on this section we use shopify and we use the shopify plan which is one step above the basic so just so we're clear in terms of what we're working with here, things are gonna be slightly different on different platforms like Etsy, or if you're using third-party shipping apps like Pirate Ship, but this should still help a little bit in keeping your costs down. Let's start off with some tools and some supplies. First thing you're gonna want is a scale. Uh, for the longest time, we used just a little kitchen scale, 
But we finally upgraded to one of these, which is the Ultra Ship from My Way. If you make soap, you're going to be familiar with My Way. They do that same scale that like everybody uses. Uh, so this is their shipping version. Obviously, you need to know how much your packages weigh before you ship them out. Plus, it's really helpful to know how much your individual products weigh, as well as the weight of your boxes and packing materials. One of the biggest things I can recommend is a thermal label printer. This one comes from Amazon. There's all kinds of different places and brands that sell them. I highly, highly recommend a thermal printer because you don't have to replace any kind of ink. And it's so fast. I also got this that holds the labels. And they get fed up through the back here. Normally, when we're actually actively shipping, I have it down like this. So here's why I love the thermal printer and it saves us so much time. It's like printing out tickets at Chuck E. Cheese. So then these are just nice, easy little stickers. Peel them off, pop them right on a box, and you're good to go. So the primary shipping carrier that we use is USPS, and we typically use one of two of their classes, either first class or priority. First class we'll use for very small packages under 16 ounces. We also use those anytime someone orders stickers and those go in an envelope instead of a box. Priority can also be broken down into multiple classes. There's the standard priority that we typically use with our flat rate bubble envelopes. And then there's also cubic. This is your best friend. This is the padded flat rate bubble envelope. That long boy, the nine by five by three box is the biggest you can fit inside here, but you can fit a lot in here with that box. It costs about $8 to ship one of these anywhere in the United States. That price does fluctuate a little bit as you get closer to the winter holiday season, but still about $8. You can also get these for free on the USPS website. We order them in big stacks of about 90 at a time. USPS also offers these free priority mail stickers, which are useful for making sure that that bubble envelope stays closed. And this one is the medium flat rate box. We don't use this one as much because it's for really, really big orders, but when it does come up, it really is helpful in saving money. So on really big orders, like the ones that go in our big ass boy, the six by six box, we use cubic shipping. So the standard Shopify plan, the basic Shopify does not include cubic shipping. I know some third party services like Pirate Ship offer cubic shipping. Uh, I don't know if Etsy is still offering that. If you know, please comment below to let us know whether or not that's an option with Etsy now. It wasn't back in the day when we were still on it a little over a year ago. Cubic is really great for those larger, heavier packages because it saves you a lot of money. Okay, so from here, I wanna go ahead and show you how some of this breaks down. Say for example, we have a test item that I put in for 25 ounces, but we'll play around with that here in a second. So here's our small boy, which is one of our standard packages. If this weighs say eight ounces, here's the different levels we can send it at. Something like this, we would wanna send it first class because it's only $3.46 with the discount that we get through Shopify. If we send it priority, which is just a little bit faster, it would be $7.16. Now, if we change the packaging, say to that padded flat rate envelope, if it was a heavier item, like say 26 ounces, it would be $8 for us to ship it. Now, if we had a particularly large package, like a big ass boy, those can be upwards of 65 ounces or more. Cubic rate saves us a lot of money. So here is cubic rate for a heavy box, like 65 ounces is gonna be $7.32. That 65 ounces, it actually ends up being cheaper than using the padded bubble, bubble envelope, which it wouldn't fit in anyway. Even if I make it a heavier package up to 80 ounces, it's still the same cost. So cubic is awesome. So if I change the package over to an envelope, now this is not the padded envelope like you would see with the flat rate. This is just a, a small six by eight padded envelope. Those are generally pretty light. So if this was say three ounces, like all it had was stickers, then we can do first class mail, making it only $1.40 to ship. So I want to show you a little bit here on the USPS website. This is where you can get a lot of your free shipping supplies. So if you come over here under the shop tab and then shipping supplies, so much free stuff here. So say if I wanted the padded envelopes, I can just go ahead and search for padded. These are the padded so here it is, priority mail, padded, flat rate envelope. They come in packs of 
10 or 15. You can do a quantity of six per order. So you just do add to cart. Check out now. Tell it where you want it to go. Ship. And that's it. 90 free envelopes already on their way to you. Uh, same thing if you're looking for the stickers. Priority mail, express, just make sure that the sticker you pick matches what you're sending. So we don't send anything priority mail express generally. So I usually get these priority mail stickers here. They come in a roll of a thousand. Again, free with a maximum of three. And when it comes to the padded envelopes, if you need to order more than 90, it just means you need to order more than one order at a time. So you just have to check out multiple times. So these padded flat rate envelopes, as a note, generally you're not going to find those inside your local USPS office. Things like the medium flat rate boxes, you should be able to find those relatively easy. But these padded flat rate envelopes, you do need to order online. Alrighty, and that's it for this 2021 edition of how we do our labeling, packaging, and shipping. I hope that it helped you out. Final couple notes here. Uh, I know a really common place to get shipping supplies is Uline. I do want to let you know we do not support Uline. They have a pretty long history with their owners of making some choices that don't align with us. So I heavily recommend anytime you go to purchase from a supplier you're not familiar with, Google them, find out if they do align with your business and what you want to do. So just a heads up on that. So if you are LGBT friendly, I really recommend not using Uline. Quick Google search will tell you everything you need to know. It's not great if you're an LGBT friendly company that, especially when you talk about being LGBT friendly and when someone gets your package in the mail and it says Uline, it can be kind of a letdown. So just a heads up on that. All right, so that's it. And as we have any major changes to how we do our packaging, labeling, and shipping, I'll make sure to give an update video, let you know where things are at. Hope you're all having a good day. This is your hydration reminder from your soap mom. Have a good day, good week, good everything. Stay safe out there. Bye everybody.